Yes, yeah, so actually that was relatively painless. Um, I know my bedroom looks messier now, um, but I've got two very tidy clothes drawers and um, a little bit of extra space on here, which is good because um, I've got, what I've done differently this time probably is I've got a pile of repairs. So there's like three things that I really like and I'm going to stitch those up. Um, I've got a pile of cleaning stuff. <laughs> No, I'm going to be using, I'm going to do a big spring clean, so that's good. I've got my pile of cleaning stuff and old socks I can use for dusters as well. And a pile of just stuff to throw in the bin. Um, and then some stuff that I might, that's either probably going to go to the charity shop or I might even sell it on my, I've got my Kofi page now. So um, there's a couple of like Zumba things that have never been worn. Um, so I might put those up for sale when I figure out postage. Um, and then just a pair of pants that I'm going to wear later on today. So they're there. Um, yeah, it's, I think the thing is, is it, whenever you do the Marie Kondo tidying up, it's sort of an emotional thing as well. And I actually really enjoyed that in terms of like, I really enjoyed getting all my pretty stuff out and, um, and even though it's sort of been hanging up here and cheering me up during lockdown, it's quite nice to, um, I often end up, I don't know about you, putting like things on top of things <laughs> and they don't see it. And you know, it's quite nice actually folding up some dresses and putting them away because I think I'll kind of see them more when I open the drawer, you know, that'll cheer me up a bit more. Um, and yeah, just trying to see things more. I mean, this dress I bought last year and I've never worn it. Um, and it's so pretty. <laughs> I mean, it's so light and it's so small. <laughs> so it was a little bit too tight for me last summer. And so that's going to be one of my, my things is that hopefully I'll be wafting around in the summer wearing that. So that's quite nice for me. And one of the Marie Kondo things is it's not about throwing away things that don't fit you. Um, because I, and I've always found this as well, when you love something, an item of clothing, like for example, that I've had that for over 20 years and like there's times when I'm too fat for it and that's all right. <laughs> it's getting a bit misshapen in the shoulder now, but I just love it. And um, I always think of this as my writer's jacket. I often wear this when I do an author's event. And, uh, you know, I've been too fat for it and then I've lost a bit of weight and, and, it, and it's been fitting lovely. So you go up and you go down. I do anyway. So I never let go of something just because it's too small. Because honestly, I mean, some of these things are like, you know, they're like a work of art, really. Um, and yeah, I'll keep those until, until maybe I give them away to somebody, but like somebody special if they, you know, or they can borrow it or something. Yeah. So that's, that's a lot of clothing sorted out. I do not need any more Zumba tops. I really don't. I realise that I do not need any more socks. Um, what I do need is, um, and actually, it's interesting when I, I said about the jumpers, I couldn't find, you know, it's hard to get hold of jumpers in the winter. Um, but actually what turned up for me was somebody gave me some thermal vests. So I was wearing thermal vests underneath everything. So that really helped. You sort of think, well, stuff does show up. And sometimes it's nice to need things because it kind of allows people to help us. And it's really hard, I think, this year because we, you know, we've stocked up on things because we don't want to feel the need for things. We don't want to, we don't want to be needy and, and need stuff, but... We always need stuff we always need stuff in our lives and um sometimes that need is is really good because it it makes us ask for help or it makes us go and look for things and it it gets us out of our comfort zone a lot of the time so that's that's really really good but i do realize and obviously i was holding a big pair of not pants they were that's my bikini bottoms and um that's the thing with those you know swimsuits and things you leave them in the the, the drawer and then you go to wear them and they've given you know the material just goes I don't know what it is with swimwear so that's quite good because I do need new swimwear I need some more swimwear um, and that's something that might take a while to to like I might have to order that and then try it on and then send it back you know what I'm going. so that's good that I know that and I can keep an eye out for, for swimwear and things but and I've got new, two new pairs of trousers that I've ordered that are on their way to me. So I've made a bit of space for them and I hope they fit. I really hope they fit. It's so difficult sometimes. In fact, I'm just thinking. A pair of trousers in the bottom here. I'm just, I'm just thinking that I want to. 
bring those to the top. Put those on the top. And then I'll wear those. It's, um, yeah, I quite enjoyed that. And I'm hoping that that sort of first step of tidying up my clothes will kind of, what I find is when you do the first thing, you know, you do the clothes and everything, then everything else follows behind really, really easily. And I know like where I, I know when I was doing the Marie Kondo thing and I had the whole big, you know, so much stuff to do. Um, I found, I think I got stuck on paperwork. Paperwork was like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, I mean that, but that took me a real long. I broke two shredders <laughs> while I was doing my paperwork. It was bin bags and bin bags, and then I and I could. I was trying to find out how to like recycle it, or in, in the end, you just have to throw it away in the bin. But I had so much, I had to wait like weeks and put it each week in the bin. So it's quite a good time to start doing this because sometimes when you start throwing things away, you know you can fill up your bin quite quickly. So I haven't actually got that much to throw away really, but I have got a lot of cleaning gear few things to sell and a few things to repair so that's good I'll choose the the last remaining winter evenings to sew up the gear that I want to be wearing in the summertime but that's the seams are starting to go a little bit just because I've worn them so much so because they're my favorite things so can't get a lot of new things at the moment so I shall make do and mend you know nothing wrong with making do and mending is there so um anyway I hope that helps you and if you are feeling stuck in life oh here's a really quick tip as well Marie Kondo says this, it's very true. When you do tidying up, it affects your physical well-being and your spiritual, emotional well-being as well. So if you throw away a lot of things, sometimes you find you 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 go to the toilet a lot and you lose a lot of weight. So actually, if you're holding on to lockdown weight in your body, um, it's a really weird thing, but sometimes it does help you lose weight. It's I think it's a it's a thing of like you letting go and letting go of things. So um, that's really good. And I think once you do that first step, um, it was a lot easier than the first time I did it. But it's very, uh, somebody said something yesterday, which is that you have to, you know, have to fill up your own cu cup first. You have to put on your own oxygen mask first. And I really want to help uh, like my mum to do her tidying up and things like that. But I have to put my own house in order first. So this is me putting my own house in order. Okay, thank you so much. See you soon. Bye.